What's up, YouTube? Um, here to do another tip video. Um, if you actually watched my last video, it was of Skull Extra Mint Blend. Um, and I told you I'll be doing the other one I have. I haven't found the other two yet. I looked a couple places, couldn't find them. But today I will be doing a review of Skull Extra Wintergreen Blend Long Cut. Yes. I've had a few dips of this. Um, let me grab a mud jug. As you can see, I um, did a little rearranging of my tower, mini tower thing. There's some uh, dip over here, snus over here, and the mud jug. And obviously, I already set aside. I can't fucking reach it. <laughs> already set aside the wintergreen mud jug for this video, and the top's not all the way on. So, wintergreen. Mud jug, excuse me, for the winter green dip. So I'll pack this a little bit. We'll do a Chris Dips one pack again. And wait for Darcy. Let's see if I can do this. I did it earlier. Alright, so we'll take a little dip of this. Um, as you can see, it's a normal skull cut, basically, maybe a little longer than your normal skull cut. Um, they kind of jip you a little bit with these new skulls. It seems like when if you hammer pack them right when you get them, it seems like there's a good eighth quarter missing out of the can already. Sucks, but what can you do? So let's take a little dip of this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They're So, it's called actual one here. Um, first of all, smell. It's not a strong smell. Um, it just smells like doesn't smell that good. Maybe like just a hint of wintergreen, but it doesn't have a strong smell at all. But it's your normal skull can, it just says extra at the top. It says wintergreen blend, long cut there instead of long cut here. 100% um, American grown tobacco, obviously as all skulls are really. Um, your normal skull side just says skull extra long cut. And everything's pretty much the same as other skulls. Flavor. Flavor. The flavor is interesting. Um, some people are saying it tastes like skull original fine cut wintergreen. Just in a long cut form. I don't know if I'll go that far. Um, it's similar, yes, but it's its own wintergreen. It is different from Skull Wintergreen and Skull Edge. Uh, I believe it's not as strong. It's a little mellower wintergreen. Um, a lot of people are saying that it doesn't have a burn. It has a slight burn, but not much. Nicotine wise, it's not that bad. Um, you might feel a little bit. Of nicotine, not really a buzz, but you feel the nicotine. But it's not bad. Um, there's a little bit of artificial flavoring when you taste artificialness, but it tastes like a wintergreen. One thing I want to talk about I don't know if you guys have ever hold a, heard of Ultra Music Festival. What's happening right now, right down the street? So I went down to the street to get to Walgreens and go get some food and stuff. I see all these people crazy dressed in like like colorful clothes and all weird crazy shit. And I wonder what the fuck's going on? But then I remember Ultra Music Festival. Um, if you guys don't know, check out Ultra Music Festival. It's some like house electronica type music festival. 
that they have down here. Um, I would have loved to win, not for the music, just for the atmosphere and all the crazy people that are there. It been, would have been fun, but tickets are way too expensive for something I really don't care about. But, um, back to the subject of Skull. They did a decent job on these two Skull lectures I've had. I can't wait to try the other two. The other two are the ones I really wanted to try. The crisp and rich. Um, but, it's not bad. It stays packed pretty good once you get it in there. Once, it, once it's like nice and moist. Right now it's kind of moving around a little bit on me. But, eventually it'll pack a little harder. Like most skulls. You kind of stay there pretty good. Like, not bad. Um, the four wintergreen is pretty good. Um, I decided to do this one today because I actually just wrote Wintergreen 21, his letter back. Um, I kind of been putting it off, putting it off. I wrote it back and uh, it's a long fucking letter and a bunch of bullshit I talked about. And I wrote it, drew, drew him a little gay picture like he drew me. But, so I figured I'd do the Wintergreen today. Since, you know, Wintergreen Tony, Wintergreen. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, I know a lot of you newer guys probably don't know who Wintergreen Tony 1 is because he hasn't made a video in a while. Check out his page, Wintergreen Tony 1. Really cool guy, he's about 800 subscribers now. And he should be back to making videos once he gets back from boot camp. He is in the army. So, check him out. As you can see, I'm wearing my... I'm grabbing one side. I'm wearing my Mud Jug shirt. Mud Jug. Um, um, you can see it's a spit with pride. Really sick shirt. Thanks, Darcy. Thanks, Jeff. Like the shirt a lot. Got some weird looks when I walked in the Walgreens with it. Because it has the Confederate flag on it, but oh well. Um, I have an American flag I plan on hanging up probably in the corner over there. I might be doing my videos from there from now on. Um, we'll see. I'm liking, I'm liking this moving around a little bit. Um, it's kind of fun. Probably going to do a video over there for Snoo, so I'm, I have a general flag. You'll see that later. But, Skull Extra Wintergreen is not bad. It's not a bad Wintergreen. It's kind of mellow, a little artificial. But it's not as artificial as, let's say, uh, Timberwolf. I did some Copenhagen Wintergreen earlier today, and um, Copenhagen Wintergreen is a lot stronger, a lot harder on the gums. And this stuff is just a mellow, chill Wintergreen, basically. Um, it's I think it's good for occasional use. If you're a Wintergreen fan, you should try it out. Um, for me, I've kind of moved away from these flavored dips. I'm getting more into these natural type things. I actually found this the other day. I've been looking for it forever. Grizzly 1900. I will do a review on that in the near future. But guys, uh, that's all I did for this video. Um, try some Skull Extra. Wintergreen. If you like Wintergreens, um, that's about it, guys. So, as always, keep on using Smokeless. And until, until next time, peace out.